quick video for y'all 206 p.m uh 10 january 10 february i keep saying january it ain't january anymore it hasn't been for 10 days uh yeah i'm disheveled i'm gonna fix this eyebrow there we go uh <laughs> been at work listen do i really need a gun on my bug out bag yes yes you do you really need a gun on your bug out bag but why? Because if some person, I'll use a nice word, some person decides to escalate to deadly force, the only way for you to recover from that situation is to also apply deadly force more quicker, more better. Action beats reaction, okay? somebody else decides that we are now in a deadly force engagement and you don't have a way to respond you're done you are now a victim and if the argument is well i'll be bugging out i won't need you're bugging out because you're leaving something bad if things are bad people are on edge and there will be people with guns period the end there are people with guns right now and the main reason that people with guns right now don't use them is because they don't have to use them and also because there are laws that say if you do use your firearms now, it had better be justified or you are also going to jail, right? Well, you remove all of that. If you're in a without rule of law situation, you know, it's the end of the world as we know it. Or whatever. Localized issues, weather, financial crisis, blah, 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 blah. Whatever reason you would feel that I have got to get my bug out bag and go, you had damn well better have a gun with you, and you had damn well better know how to use it and have the ammunition for it and have a way to clean it and keep it lubricated. For all of the reasons that one would carry a gun in rule of law, I cannot fathom why somebody would not carry a gun in with, with a without rule of law situation. And yes, I know I sound really condescending, but seriously, people, let's apply some logic here. I'm not trying to be a highfalutin a-hole. I'm just speaking truth as I understand it. If there's a good reason, and I believe there is, and I live in a nice neighborhood in northern Texas with basically no crime, if there's a good reason for me now to carry a gun on my hip, and I do, as well as several other items on my vehicle, in my vehicle, at all times, why would I not have a weapon in my bug out bag or on my bug out bag or as part of my bug out system? And while we're on it, we're gonna be really quick at this because I need to go home and shower and wipe the dirt from the day off of me. What does that system look, at, look like? My system, is a long range bug out bag. Look it up on my channel, you'll see what I'm carrying. My EDC, everyday carry. Look it up on my video, you'll see what I'm carrying. But part of that is a 45 caliber semi-automatic pistol and an extra magazines. And a long gun, yes. AR-15 platform, 5.56. And a chest rig or plate carrier. That's my bug out system. And I can carry all of it and use all of it and know how to fix all of it and work on all of it. And I have it with me at all times in case I need it. So do you need a weapon with your bug out bag? Only if you don't want to be a statistic. Something to think about. Seriously, if you don't have a weapon with your bug out bag, why are you even trying? Why are you trying to get prepared? What are you bugging out from? What, are you bugging out to Disneyland? You can go to SeaWorld and pet Shamu. You gotta hang out. We're just gonna party with the dolphins. Do not apply your decadent end stage logic to what will be the end of an empire. Agrarian society, warrior class. It is what's coming. Decadent logic doesn't work. Yes, you need a firearm. You need to be proficient with it. Have ammo. Have a way to clean it. 
be responsible, but understand that if somebody else decides to engage in deadly force, the only way that you walk away from that situation is if you can respond with deadly force. And if you don't have deadly force with you, you're going to get stacked.